Hi. Now we got colors. It's time to paint. Let's go. I mask is the back of the guitar. Now I take the yellow color that I made in past video. I will make a maple top flame a little deeper. Now it must dry 30 minutes. When it dried up, I sand it with sandpaper. First I take the sandpaper 400 grit. This will remove the uplifted fibers and remove the excess color. It is very important to sand in the direction of the wood fibers. Now I take sand in sponge, 1000 grit. Now I make a yellow layer on the basis of my nitrolac. I prepare my nitrolac myself. This allows me to control its hardness upon drying, behavior when it is aging, and influence on the sound of a guitar. Al nitro is done on one basis, it's coloxylin. But different brands of varnishes have different fillers in different plasticizers. Sometimes in some nitro there is more polyurethane than nitrocellulose. Therefore, my nitro recipe is completely suitable for my purposes. For better spreading of layer, I add a retarder. I almost forgot to disguise the bushings. I put a very liquid layer of color. And one primer clear layer. I leave to dry for a couple of hours. Then I sand the primer layer. Now I'm applying a layer of shadow with black color. Now is a turn of red color.
I put it in several layers to get the depth I need. Now I added a little blue to my red color to make it more dark and cold. And now came the turn of amber layer, which will unite all the colors and reduce the contrast. Its consistency is more dense, so I'll have to reconfigure my spray gun. Okay, let's go paint back sides. This color I apply in thin layers. I can control its depth and uniformity.
and now the layer of clear nitro. Now I will clean the binding from the paint. I do it with a blade or with my special tool. In it I can adjust the depth of the removal of paint. The metal ruler helps me to clean binding on the neck. Since the varnish has dried out for one day, I need to mat it for better adhesion to the next layer.
is done. I'll be back in a day. Now the intermediate water sanding before the finish coat. My sandpaper has 800 grit. It is better to do in the side light. Now I will put the serial number with my vintage stamp from the 60s. Now the last layers of the clear nitro. I added some more inhibitor for better spreading of the layer. Ok, it's done. Now the varnish must dry for two weeks. After that I can do sanding, polishing and assembling.